Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my tips for writers. Now, my main aim with this series is to give tips and advice to new or first time writers, but sometimes even people with a little more experience can run into roadblocks. So I'll try to throw in some more advanced tips and tricks when I can. In this episode, I hope to tackle one of the most difficult challenges that face writers, especially ones first starting out. How to start writing your story and conquer the intimidating blank page. OK, so maybe you've thought to yourself for a while that you'd like to write a story. Maybe you've had a few ideas for something you think would make for a great book kicking around in your head. Or maybe you're just at the start of a new writing project. You've sat down and your writing instrument of choice is in front of you and all you can see is a blank page. For some, this is an exciting prospect filled with so many possibilities, but for most, it's one of the most intimidating things ever, especially for new writers. Unfortunately, that blank page won't stop being blank all by itself. So what do you do? How do you get over this initial intimidation? My first bit of advice would be to put something onto that blank page to make it a little less blank. Whether it's the title of your story, a chapter number or chapter title, or even just a single word, it can really help. And the less you have to think about what that is, the better, because you're trying to convince yourself that you can do this, that you can write this story. OK, so now your page isn't blank anymore. Great, but you still haven't started writing yet. You know that first sentence of your story is important and you have to make sure you get it exactly right the first time, right? Wrong. The words on your page aren't going to be magically projected into the world the second you put them there, nor are they set in stone. My good friend Jade and I have this saying, that's what editing is for. The first version of your story doesn't have to be perfect because you'll draft, redraft, proofread and edit it until you're completely happy with it. The same is true of your first sentence. No one is going to know what that first sentence was the first time you constructed it. So take the pressure off yourself a little. And if it makes it easier, make that first sentence a little formulaic the first time you write it. If using once upon a time helps you get this, your story flowing, then go with it. Like I said, you can always go back and edit it later when you have a clearer idea of what you want that sentence to be. Once you get a little more used to writing, you'll find you'll start developing your own little tricks to conquering the blank page. Since I tend to move straight from finishing one project onto the next, my personal one is to visualise that blank page in my head first as I'm finishing up the current project I'm working on, so that by the time I actually come to face it, I've already filled it in once, so it's much less daunting. Anyway, I hope my tips and tricks have been useful to you. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any tips and tricks of your own for conquering the blank page that others might find helpful, because there is no right or wrong way to write a story. It's about finding that way that works for you and enjoying the process. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!